Washington, Pittsburgh tonight. And this first set kind of felt like what I expected last night. But I guess that's what I get for expecting anything. Who knows what the fuck these guys are going to do. So a lot of, you know, a set that had a lot of classic songs. Yeah, I don't know about a lot. You know, it seems like 12 is like that number they're hitting now. Got a new one. Got a brand new one in here tonight. So then 555, the opener. A bit of a surprise there. It, it may have opened before, but... Not something that's gonna, you're going to see regularly. And I was a little worried that maybe with some of the new songs, maybe 555 was getting pushed to the side, put on the back burner a little bit. You know, it was in serious regular rotation throughout, what, 17 and 18? Still there, ACDC bag right after that. You know, everybody getting excited for the let's get this show on the road part. Well, I felt like 555 got this show on the road. Mike's first opportunity. There's a lot of Mike singing tonight in the first set. Whenever Mike sings like more than one song, or maybe Mike and Paige combine for three or four songs, I always start worrying about Trey's voice. You know, we're only a few shows into this. We only got a few left. But, you know, poor Fishman finally got over that shoulder injury that he apparently had for like a decade. But, uh, so I don't know. I don't know if there's anything to that or not. But I always do freak out a little bit. Like, oh no, what's going on? What's wrong with Trey's voice? Why is Mike singing all these songs? When really it's just like one or two more songs than normal, I guess. And then Cars, Trucks, and Buses, good instrumental there. Water in the Sky, it's a, you know, I, I like Water in the Sky. Not one of my favorite songs. Not something I'm usually going to be like, that was one of the highlights of the first set, but I feel like it was tonight. Uh, sample in a Jar, Theme from the Bottom, followed that. Theme from the Bottom, man. Maybe starting, I don't know if it's me or, if, you know, again, 17 and 18. I felt like that was, that was one of their bangers, man. A first set song. Not that it was bad tonight, but just didn't, I don't know. I just kind of didn't get that feeling from Theme from the Bottom. What was going on there? Then we get the funky bitch from Mike Gordon. Then Wolfman's brother making its first appearance this run. run. Got like a half-ass phone ring there. The jam in Wolfman's felt like, you know, instead of hitting the peak, it was just going to hang out at base camp for a little while. Which I was cool with. The base camp jam was cool. And then finally they went on. They left base camp. They wrapped it up. Haley's Comet after that. Nice fish jam. You know, not necessarily Trey or Paige or whatever. Just everybody doing it. When the circus comes to town, then Mike Gordon's victim making its fish debut. The third song of the night for Mike Gordon hitting the mic. And then Antelope closing the set, rocking us out. About an hour and 15, hour and 20 minute set, what we've been getting. Then we open up the second set, another surprise. The 555 is a little oddball opener, Cavern. And I don't know, I'm always one of the, I'm like, I, I fucking hate it when people start talking about set placement and this and that. But it maybe maybe there's something to that. I'm just like, hey, look, man, the songs are the songs. It don't really matter where they are. But Cavern as an end of the second set or first set closer, I'm just like, ah, whatever. But Cavern opening the second set, I was all right. Like, all right, man, I kind of like Cavern. It's cool. Maybe it was because I thought there was potential for some jam there, even though it was one and not two. Runaway Jim, number two. Again, not a bluegrass song. I feel like I'm probably going to say, well, thank God the tour's almost over. But <clears throat> a song that just has that feel where like, yeah, hey, you can tell these guys, even though they're rock and roll musicians, they like some bluegrass or something, you know, or something like that going on. I felt a little bit of that with Runaway Jim. Same thing with Mule the other night. I know Sean got mad at me when I said Rift was bluegrass-ish. The grass. I did like how it was called. I, do, I am calling bluegrass the grass now. So we did not get our traditional bluegrass song tonight. We did get the Ghost of the Forest, the song, which I recently was referring to Ghost of the Forest, the band, and I think I, I don't know, something, something, something there. You know, anyhow, it sounded like I was calling the band a song. And then tonight we get the actual song. Song I Heard the Ocean Sing, Prince Caspian, Fago. Nice to see Fago still there. I was a little worried I wasn't going to get to say Fago this run. And those were all pretty good, you know, not a whole lot of jamming there, but some in Ocean Sing, some in Caspian. Fago, not so much giving way to the king, at least king, the king still to me. Y-E-M, not ending the second set, but sneaking it in there. And, you know, it's not, not going to go down as the greatest version ever. Most of it was pretty, you know, there was one section that was a little, little bit tough there. But overall, pretty good Y-E-M. Trey, today, oh man, moment of silence. December 4th, 1993, did I even take a moment there? Okay, that was a for official moment. Frank Zappa died that day, 1993, so I thought maybe, maybe Ch maybe Trey's going to channel some old Frankie tonight. This YEM, man, just give it to us. And it was good, but then we got the good times, bad times after that. Was not feeling the Zappa in the YEM. That's all right. And then for the encore, finally, I believe I've been chasing. I haven't checked my, my couch tour stats, but I think I've been chasing Hold Your Head Up, Terrapin, Hold Your Head Up on couch tour. Something, I don't know. Over a hundred couch tour shows now. Still chasing that motherfucker. And tonight it came the elusive hold your head up. Finally! 
Fishman. He's still greasy physique to me, damn it. I don't know about all these new names. Bob Weaver for a while, but is and will always be Mr. Greasy Physique to me, anyhow. And then Julius ending the night. We got the Julius rocking it out. You can't let it. I don't know why, but I'd like to see a night when everybody leaves the stage and it's just Fishman in his vacuum up there to end one. But that does it. That ends this video. Boom. It was awful abrupt. Oh, well, what are you going to do, man? What, am I going to come up with some fancy outro? No. Oh, man, you guys should have heard this fucking Julius parody I had on the way home. Pretty filthy, though. Probably not for you kids' ears.